Hi, this is High Templar with my Fallout 4 survival video. So I've made beer and my slippers after the shift. Some uh, purchases in armor. I've uh, purchased this one in Pound's basement because it was very cheap. And I also got this nice thing uh, from the guy selling uh, weapons. The, it's very expensive, but it's reduced damage from humans by 15%. And they are all upgraded all already, so I won't have to. So I won't have so many pocket you pockets there. You need Not a yet. genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Sure, let's take a look. Feel that heft. Hmm? Bart mahogany swatter. Oh, that actually looks very cool. Let's just see what you have. New weapons. Chain wraps pattern, rock wheel slugger, 30% less action point cost. Wow, that's just insane. Baseball cap, perception, uniform. So so. Baseball glove, leather, lots of leather actually, for very low price. Hmm. I will buy three of those. And I'm just will scrap uh, one piece of armor that I uh, because I have this champion right arm, so I don't need this pocket shadow metal right arm. You can see the difference: 59 and 10.5. Cloth, steel, rubber, leather. Fine. Uh, not really. I mean. I'd rather sell it. Don't walk outside. Hey, Myrna. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. Let's see what you got. Here's what we Let's got. just sell it because I don't think it's worth that much. I mean, how much is it worth if I sell it? Twenty-three. Or some rubber. Yeah, let's just sell it. As you can see, I'm almost out of money. Cola, Nuka Cola. Drink some water. Nuka Cola, so thirsty. <laughs> you want a soda? Is that it? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you. Let's look for some uh, for some work here. My inventory is one fifteen out of one ninety. I need a wood job and I need a house. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old-fashioned pistol or anything else you need. Yeah, pistols are really light. Don't need anything today. Well. We're always here. A of trade for all Diamond City right here. I may sell Marina. just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Not looking to buy right now. <sighs> Probably a synth anyway. He, would you shut Thank up? You. Hey, Mo. It's like I can find really a little more stopping power? Eh, stainless my steel nails, nails my friend. Looking for what? Any work? Well, if you want to help the sport. I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catches mitt, 
and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 caps. 100 caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps apiece and that's it. Take it or leave it. Wait. I already... 100 caps seems light. I need more. You think you can play me for a sucker? Wait, wait, wait. I already got 125. Take it or leave it. Ah. Uh... A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my liver. You wanna hear a funny story? Let's make some food and eat it. Now, mongrel, uh, those should heal me some rats, but they don't. If I uh, if I would talk to this guy two seconds le earlier, I would have twelve charisma. Some guy came into town. So he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Cambridge. Okay, I know where is that. Wait, just one second. Who are you, resident? Uh, looking for work. Gotta pick me up if you're feeling glum. Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking rad X or rad away. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. All right. How about 125 caps? Yep. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. I need to get a home here. So let's talk to. The boss here. What do I? Who do I have to kill to get the, to get a house here? That was so cool. The stadium turned into city. Absolutely awesome. Ellie. There's a no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. I do, I do. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. 2,000 cups. Okay, not really... Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. Hey, Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Yeah, I'm looking, I'm for, looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Wanted posters? Okay, I will do that. W wait, what was that about synths? Oh no, I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. And you are? Geneva, the mayor's secretary. I handle all the day today. Yeah. I don't need anything. Catch you later then. Really? Institute? I ain't scared of them. No. You ain't scared of Institute. Swear. Well, you are one stupid SOB.
Where is the mirror? Probably parking somewhere. Come on. Let's go with the elevator this time. Let's switch up one radio. As much as this radio is cool. Well, I'm outside. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Yeah, almost. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Danny Sullivan. Head on inside. I am, I am. I didn't meant to go outside in the first place. <sighs> you, you, dear. Let's go to public occurrences, get as many jobs as we can, and then we can decide where we go. Of course, we probably would have to go outside first. I mean, drop by. You holding up, Blue? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town, so today's been great. Interesting, you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look—dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Cool. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Uh, yeah, okay. Piper. You I didn't ready want for to that interview now, Blue? Say no. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Yeah. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. My God, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths, synthetic people, sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? 
Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No, Douglas Hall. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Piper is available as a companion. However, unfortunately, I am the lone wanderer. Certainly seen better However, days, I am it? more than happy to rob your house of everything of value. Like this. Gold watch. Oh, come on. I never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. <laughs> Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Run away. Water blue. Military cap. That looks actually kind of interesting. Oh, dirty water. I can make one purified water out of it and nuka cola. That's good also. Sorry I'm taking everything but I really need this stuff. Oh, so good. 10 mil. Purified water, even better. More 10 mil. I will I can sell that. Let's come. I can totally dismantle that. Let's see what's on your computer, Piper. Send a truth reader complaints file. Okay, cool. Honor the wall. Public appearance is locked. I'm your most recent edition. You can find to acknowledge. Let's see what's <laughs> no story about your bar is going to end up happily <laughs> like that. <laughs> I hope you get snatched. Like that. Paramours. I'm torn between two loves. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young. On the other hand, I have my coworker, wise patient, debonair. Then it suggests that I'm not lively enough for him, but I can picture life with no other. Love is okay. That's that's awesome because the person is writing as anonymous and she's uh, responding. You work in the same building for Shaq's sake, <laughs> knowing exactly <laughs> who uh, who wrote this. Team troubles.
Okay. Desperate in Diamond City. Dear Desperate, even try acting with this. Talking to you, you should give it go. town is either jealous of me or afraid of me because of uh, how I look and who I work for. So that must be a secretary of a mayor. Going to have to take a range of but your instincts are good. New friends crops out in most likely places. You just need to search out for them. Cool. Okay. So you have you have cl quite close relationships with people here. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least not if I have my say. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or you know, if you need anything proofread. Sorry. I'm known wanderer. And now you put the music from the lucky look. The main team, obviously. Ah, dear, 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 dear. Uh, this is public appearances. You cause trouble. There's gonna be trouble. This is security. I will pass for that. This is the main street. This is the detective. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Diamond City Surplus back? is where you can Institute sell all the scraps to have and stuff. Right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the sense. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Okay. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. This is cool because I have yeah, so many people, quests know. just by hearing people saying stuff. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Hello, lady. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Uh, picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Skinny Malone? Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. All right, sounds like my kind of place. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. So, I'm actually. Not going to do this. I think maybe out in the field or special delivery. I don't feel strong enough to tackle stuff like that right now. 
Okay. Now that just 10 mil rounds could not go to waste, right? The rest of it. All the steam packs for that matter. Military fatigues plus, I do have military fatigues. Where from? I have military cap. Which is, I don't know where I have it from, but, you know. What I need to do is uh, get level 13 and go back and upgrade my weapons. That's what I need to do. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm almost level 13. Almost. Actually, I will just get a few of those because they're really hard to find. Tattles are like everywhere. That's some kind of speech. Everybody! Everybody! I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting Sorry. article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall. Our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the anus allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. Nice speech, dude. For me, it's like both of them <coughs> might be sense. What? Piper might be showing off the trail of her, and McDonald might be, you know, covering up everything. Lots of stuff here, but. Apparently, it's always somebody's stuff. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Economy wonder look. Now, that's something I really need to see detected. No, 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 no. I can be detected. Not me. I ain't your friend, Scaver. Come on, get lost. I need to get that economy wonder look. Perfect. Wonder Perfect. Cool. Got stuff I need. This is Mirna House, this is Detectives. This is... What is this? Abbott's House. Where are Abbott is? Diamond City Radio. Oh dear, dear. Oh, uh, um. Hi. There. Travis. This radio station? Um. Well, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So. 
<sighs> you are really, really bad at talking to people. Missiles. Well, you just casually have missiles in your house. Now. Call me crazy, but people don't have science center. I cannot check out everything. Now a swatter. That's a real one. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you. Actually, I just wanted to make myself some food and water, for that matter. So beverage, purified water, exactly. No right? No deal. So let's steal ourselves some meat and cook ourselves some water. Or better yet, steal some noodles. Yeah, what will happen? However... You watch your step. Got my eye on you. This is not me. Well, I have enough, really. Oh, wow, you're tall. Yes, I am. This is exactly what I needed, so now I will have. Sorry. Green Brad Roach. And some more red chunks, and I will eat those. It's actually quite hard to keep a character fed. You need to. Properly fed. Cool. Very cool. And then drink some. Still patched. Come on. Properly, okay. And let's talk to the school. Where was I? Let's do those brothers and let's get a room and let's get a safe and finish this and start doing some quests because we are going around this uh, city. And going around the city. It's time for some action. But I would actually would like to go north, go back, and fix that because I'm very close to level 13. My city. Oh, here we go. Quietly. All right. You. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yes, indeed. Sanctuary has, I guess, been founded. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding, right, Vadim? <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Poor Travis. 
he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Okay, let's get it. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall. So don't get jumpy. Hi there. Live here, you can you order drinks nobody. and food here or at the bar. Aren't you a candy? Okay, let's talk, Vlad. You aren't really a Dracula, right? Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Mm. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> A bar fight. Ever been in one? Uh, probably. I was military. I haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Yeah, why not? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. Yeah, yeah. They will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Uh, now it's uh, 3 a.m. so and that was 6 p.m. so I have plenty of time to sleep and do that stuff have a nice day yeah actually a bar fight seems like a good idea I never thought I would say that and I sh still should have a room here so I will just sleep here, save, and finish this episode. And then we will just do this bar fight and get out in the commonwealth, uh, do some stuff basically, and kill some monsters, uh, upgrade some guns. I do hope you like it. Uh, if you did like it, press like. If you want to comment, leave a comment. And I would also suggest you some of my other Let's Plays of Total War Warhammer Legendary green skins and legendary chaos warriors campaign and also total war round 2 uh, legendary epirus campaign so uh, that's it peace out